It's official, Paul Pogba is a Manchester United player, get in. Oh, so rep, this deal is finally done, it is official. I am so happy for this transfer for so many reasons. Paul Pogba's at Manchester United. Now, I know in recent seasons we have made some massive signings, but this one here tops the lot. Now, of course, he comes at a world record fee of 89 million pounds. Uh, broke the transfer record, which was held by Real Madrid's transfer for Gareth Bale a few years ago. That was 86 million. This is 89 million. So it just eclipses that uh, transfer there. But the hot topic from everyone, especially on social media, is Paul Pogba worth the money? And it seems to me, uh, everyone's opinion, just reading and listening to what people have to say, if, if you're a Manchester United fan, he's worth the money. And if you're not a Manchester United fan, he's not worth the money. All right, so I'm going to give you my take on if I believe Pogba is worth that uh, 89 million pounds or not. Now... Nobody's worth that kind of money, you know, let's be real, you know, the 89 million, that can, that can like solve world hunger, you know, in Africa, you know, that, that, that type of ridiculous money, those little kids will have meals for the rest of their lives, you know, so that's why I think no one's worth that kind of money, because it's ridiculous, and, and football is becoming ridiculous, and these transfer fees we're seeing are getting broken and broken and broken, and who knows, in 10 years time, we'll look back at this deal, 89 million, just what a bargain, you know, so who knows, but for me, it comes down to two types of money, whether this transfer is worth it or not. Now, there's, there's one type of money, in my opinion, it's oil money. Look at City, uh, and, and then you got this side here, we got profit money, which clubs make, like Manchester United, off the back of their own club themselves. So when you look at the oil money, and you look at clubs who are making profit, like Man United, you know, you gotta justify whether it's worth the money. Now, Manchester United are well renowned as one of the biggest clubs in the world. Now, you look at Zlatan Ibrahimovic just come to United. Now, in his first week of coming to United, just the first week, we made 76 million pounds just on shirt sales. That is ridiculous. Now, it's not just shirt sales where we make the most money. You know, you gotta look at the sponsor on the front of the shirt, Chevrolet. Manchester United are number one in the world for when it comes to club sponsors. Chevrolet, we get 56 million pounds per year just from the Chevrolet deal. And we're number one in the world when it comes to the kit sponsor, Adidas as well. We're getting 76 million pounds per year. All this money coming off the back of the club itself, Manchester United using themselves as a brand. Now, we're not Manchester City because Manchester City 10 years ago, no one really heard of them, let's be honest. It was backed by all money where Arabs came into the club, pumped their money into the club, and still, they can't match United when it comes to the financial power of the sponsorships. So all this money that they're spending for players is from the Arabs, and it's oil dirty money, in my opinion. Now, if we're gonna spend 89 million, the back of profit using the club's name and the sponsorship that we have, well then, so be it. I'm happy about it. I couldn't be more prouder as a Manchester United fan to knowing that we're making all this money and we're putting the money back into the club buying the best players in the world. That sits okay with me. That sits very, very well in my heart knowing that. So in my opinion, Man United have earned the right to spend the money any way they want to. So 89 million for Paul Pogba to come back to the club where he was in the academy growing up. Happy days. All right, so let's talk more about Pogba. Now for me, there's two sides to Pogba as well. Now there's the footballing side and there's the marketing side. So let's talk about the uh, footballing side. Now Pogba is the midfielder. We've been crying out for years. So I'm so happy to get him. He's only at the age of 23. Yes, he was at United's Academy. Yes, he did have the fight with Fergie. He has gone to Juventus and he has done an apprenticeship. So now he has come back and we're gonna get the best years out of Paul Pogba. 
A bit in reverse with Ronaldo. We had Cristiano Ronaldo at the age of 18 to uh, 23, 24. He was scoring goals for us, dominated the Premier League, won every single trophy there was to win. Then he's gone to Real Madrid for a world record fee, and what happened there? It was, look, looking back now, it's a bargain. United, we got the roar on the deal, in my opinion, because he is averaging more than a goal a game. But this is not about Ronaldo. What I'm trying to say is Real Madrid now have got the best out of Cristiano Ronaldo because they've got the prime years of his career. Now, I think we're going to get the prime years out of Paul Pogba. Hopefully, he's only at the age of 23. This guy can change the game. He can grab the game by the scruff of the neck and, and he can win games off his own boot. What midfielder do we have right now that can do that? Not too many. I don't think we've got many midfielders that can score goals, can get assists, uh, can go back, defend, win tackles. The lad can do it all. So let's talk about the uh, marketing side of things right now very quickly. Now, we did just discuss Zlatan Ibrahimovic and his uh, so, uh, shirt sales, uh, 76 million in the first, uh, first week. Now, imagine what the numbers Paul Pogba is going to bring in. I think he's gonna pay for his own transfer fee within two weeks just on the shirt sales itself. That's a bit of a tongue to start. But you gotta look at the uh, Adidas sponsorship deal, the money that that's gonna create, the, Im uh, the image rights he's gonna have as well. Marketing side of things, Paul Pogba. Uh, I don't think it's just a, a transfer which United and Jose Mourinho thought, you know what, we need that footballer. It would have been a, a, a good sit back, long, hard look at things from the uh, Glazers and thought, you know what? Yes, he can play football, but on the marketing side of things, Paul Pogba can make United a lot of money. So yeah, they're just my opinions on Paul Pogba rejoining Manchester United. Get it. Pogba's back, the Prince returns. Oh man, I'm just so glad this saga is over with. No more 48 hours he's gonna sign. Pogba's gone here for a holiday, he's going there for a medical. None of that crap. It's official, he's at Carrington, he's taking photos. Back in training, probably a week or two before we see him in action in a United shirt. I cannot wait for that. Oh, sorry, I just wanted to, I just thought of something that I just wanted to get off my chest that I forgot to mention before. Uh, Mate, in the uh, Premier League now, we have already got the best managers as well. Now, everyone knows La Liga already have the best players, but now Pogba coming back to the Premier League, is this gonna start a, is this gonna kickstart uh, more players joining the best managers in the Premier League. Is this going to make the Premier League the best league in the world? That was something that crossed my mind. Uh, I want you guys to get your comments below on that. Uh, who knows? Uh, is Messi going to come to Man City one day? Is Ronaldo going to come back to the Premier League? Uh, Gareth Bale, is he going to return? Are we going to start coming you know, full circle around where the best players are going to be in the Premier League joining the best managers as well? That would be an interesting thought. But yeah, get your comments in below about that. And uh, just quickly, I want to say sorry about for the lack of FIFA uh, uploads recently. I know my Xbox shit itself and I couldn't be asked getting it fixed. I was so busy. FIFA's still my heading. You guys already know that. And um, Fantasy Premier League as well. I'm going to make a league uh, today, hopefully. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Facebook and uh, Instagram and all those things. Uh, I'm going to tweet out the league co uh, code for the Fantasy Premier League. And hell, before the uh, Premier League starts, I'm going to make uh, a video on Fantasy Premier League as well. So, uh, yeah. Until next time, lads. Paul Pogba is officially a Manchester United player. Ketsin! Woo!